between, you know, the Lego movie and a sequel to the Lego movie, a 22 Jump Street reboot, the, another Spider-Man movie, I feel like you guys are involved in a lot of projects that maybe on the surface don't look like they should work, but, yes. but they end up do working. And I'm wondering- Word what, actually <laughs> is going to be on our tombstone. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering what the key is for that, for, for you guys, but just, just finding little loved things and making them very, very loved. I don't know why we choose these things. <laughs> I think we want to do something that seems like it's hiding in plain sight, maybe. I know that once we, we, we pick them because we find something inspiring about them. You know, in the Jump Street movies, it was this romance between two men who don't realize they're in love. Uh -huh. And then with the Lego movies, it's, wow, there's this thing. It's like a tool for creativity and people use it all around the world to tell stories and, and could we make a movie that was about that? Right, and the first thing you think of is like, oh, that's a cynical cash grab of a movie. Mm -hmm. And that's why we said no the first time making the first Lego movie and then we start thinking about it like, well, you know, it, it's like clay, you know, people make these stop motion films with, mm -hmm. with Lego. Uh, it's really just a medium for creativity. And if we treat it like that, then you could really tell a cool story with it. Like started getting excited about it. And that's how it happens every time. Amazing. And with this this one, I, I believe the story changed a, a little bit over time. I'm wondering what the, what the toughest nut to crack was for you guys in the storytelling wise. Well, we always had this idea that, you know, in the first movie, it was uh, Finn, the human boy's imagination that we were seeing in the Lego universe. And then we started painting ourselves in the corner at the end of it. And then we thought, well, wouldn't it be interesting to tell a movie from two different imagination point of view? So half of the movie is from an older version of Finn's point of view that's into sci-fi and more grown-up uh, storytelling. And then the other half is from his eight-year-old sister's point of view who's into totally different things and have those two uh, point of views collide and, and have you try to figure out which, who's telling what story mm -hmm. and having them come together. Uh, the hard part is making them both work. And making it make So you can sense. watch this movie twice and mm -hmm. you should <laughs> in the theater uh, and watch it from Finn's sister's point of view mm -hmm. and it all makes sense. And you can watch it all the way from Finn's point of view and it all, it all makes, makes sense. sense. Mm -hmm. And so that was certainly the hardest thing to, to get to make sense and to make it work <laughs> as a story and be satisfying. So that's why it took us five years to get this thing yeah. made. Well, here it is. And here and we here are. here it is. And uh, one of the biggest fun fun parts of both of these movies, all the, you know, the cameos from other IP and all the, all the Easter eggs that can be in the background. And I'm wondering if there's anything you're particularly proud of made it into, the, into this, into this film. Oh, oh well, gosh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> uh, my my uh, childhood uh, hero, Gary Payton. Uh, oh, wow. I guess uh, an older childhood. Him. He was my, uh, my childhood hero, Cheryl Swoops. There you go. <laughs> there uh, you go. Adult childhood. And, and our uh, adult heroes. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. And yeah. the Wizard of Oz gang. There's a whole. There's so many things in the movie. Uh -huh. And the my crazy part about it. My personal hero and the the guy I've obviously styled myself after Jason Momoa. Right, of course. Also Clearly. in there, yeah. I think yes, everyone, obviously, like, that goes without saying. You yes. see me and you're like, that guy's a is that, Momoa Is head. that Momoa? Oh no, it's <laughs> yeah. not. Yeah, you know, try, it's, why don't you be so. yourself, stop walking around looking yeah. like Jason Momoa. We will Momoa. put your name on this interview so people don't get confused. I know, it's I very know. important. <laughs>